Hi class, uh, welcome to your video that starts chapter 3 and in chapter 3 what we're going to do is talk about systems of linear equations and systems. We're actually not going to do the uh, linear inequalities part, um, but if you're interested that's in section 3.6 of your textbook. Okay, so we're going to start in section 3.1. Um, in this section we're talking about using graphs and tables to solve systems. I'm also going to show you how to use your graphing calculator to do this. Um, so if you have that handy while you're watching this lecture, that'll be useful. Okay, so I want to start with an example of a model here. So in the United States, um, life expectancies of women have been longer than life expectancies of men for many, many years. Um, so data is shown in the table on the next slide. I'll show you that data in a second. Um, but the life expectancy in years of WT and M of T of men and women respectively are modeled by these systems. So the life expectancy of women is equal to 0.108t plus 77.49, and this is where t is years since 1980, and life expectancy of men, m of t, is 0.197t plus 69.95. So notice how women have a higher intercept but smaller slope. Men have the higher or the lower intercept but higher value slope. Okay, so um, I want to use graphs of w and m to predict when life expectancy of men and women will be equal. Okay, so because um, the slope of men is higher than the slope of women, it, it eventually should actually overtake women. Okay, so here's the table. So you can see from 1980, um, this was the year of birth, women were expected to live 77.7 .7 years, and men were expected to live 70.0 years. And you can see that over time, so you get to 2014, the life expectancy has gone up, all right, for both cases. Each year, it's, it's higher than the year before it's gone up. Okay, so if you were to graph this, what we want to do is predict when the life expectancies will be equal. If we graph this, in blue here, you can see the life expectancy of women. That's just the graph of this equation right here. And in red, you can see the life expectancy of uh, men. Okay, so what this is saying here is they will be equal and be equal to 84.72 years at 86.64 years since, um, excuse me, I have that backwards. They will be equal, they will be equal to 86.64 at 84.72 years since 1980. Sorry, I had that backwards. Okay, so our intersection point is approximately, as I said, 84.72 comma 86.64. So the models predict that life expectancy of both women and men will be about 86.6 years. That's what I have over here in the year 2065. So all I did was I rounded this to 85 and then I added that to years since 1980. Okay, so here's the thing, we're not very confident about this prediction, however, because it's so far into the future and so much can change. Okay, but regardless, we saw that we graphed the two lines and looked where they intersect. Okay, so you can verify your, your work using the intersect on the graphing calculator. So I wanna show you how to do that. So let me load up the graphing calculator here, my trusty graphing calculator. So the cool thing about your graphing calculator is it'll solve all these systems of equations that we're going to be talking about. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit y equals, and you're going to want to put in the two equations that you had. So 0 0.108 variable plus 77.49, that was the model for women, and 0 0.197 times your variable plus 69.95, that was your model for men. So now here's the thing, when you hit zoom on your calculator, or excuse me, you're gonna hit graph, you're not gonna see anything, right? That's because the lines of both these are like way, way up here. So you're gonna wanna hit zoom, and then you can do zoom out, and you'll see that you're not hitting it yet. So you're gonna wanna keep hitting zoom, and then out. So there's one line, and then there's the other line, so you, you can see it a little bit. But then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit, to get the graphing calculator to show you where they intersect, you're going to hit second function, and then the calc. On, so it's the second function is the value above trace. And you want number five, you want to see where they intersect. So you're going to hit enter. So it's going to ask you for the first line, enter, the second line, enter. It's going to ask you to guess. You can just hit enter again, see how it says guess, just hit enter again. 
and look, it tells you where the intersect point is. 84.72, that's what we thought, and 86.64, that's what we also got. So your graphing calculator, once you plug the two equations in, did this very, very easily. Okay, so if the explanatory variable of two models represents time, so in this case, the explanatory variable was T, year since 1980, then an intersection point of the graphs of the two models indicates when the quantities represented by the response variable will be equal. So that T variable is when the two variables showed when they were equal. So a system of linear equations in two variables, or a linear system for short, consists of two or more linear equations in two variables. And I'm gonna go back for a second this right here is a linear equation in two variables. The variables are T and L, which is the life expectancy. So T and L. So it's a linear system of two equations with two variables. All right, so we say that an ordered pair, so like that ordered pair we saw, the 84, 86 basically, is a solution of the system of two equations and two variables if it satisfies both equations, so if it solves both equations at the same time. So the solution set of a system is a set of all solutions of a system. So we solve a system by finding its solution. All right, so in general, the solution set of a system of two linear equations can be found by locating any intersection point or points. So when you do linear, um, Generally, we'll only find one point, I'll talk about when there's multiple points, though, of a graph of two equations. All right, so let me give you an example. So I want to solve this system right here. y is equal to 2x plus 4, and y is equal to minus x plus 1. All right, so the graphs of the equations are shown to the right. So in red, you can see I have the minus x plus 1, and over here, I have, in blue, I have the y is equal to 2x plus 4. And you can look and you can see right where they intersect. It looks like they intersect at the point negative 1, 2. So this intersection point here, this is the solution to this system of equation because this ordered pair solves both equations at the same time. Okay, so there's only one right there. All right, so you can, I'll leave this to, to check for yourself. Okay, but you can also verify your work again using that intersection feature on the calculator. Let me show you that again just as a refresher. Okay, so I'll, what I have to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I got to go back to the beginning of my um, settings. So I'm going to go zoom, and I want number six for zoom standard. I'm going to go to the y equals button, and I'm going to clear out both these lines. So I'm going to re input the two lines. So the first one was 2x plus 4, and the second one was minus x plus one, and when you graph these, you can see that intersection point right there. So you're just gonna hit second function, calc, and it was number five for intersect. So you're gonna hit enter three times, and it's gonna tell you the intersection point was negative one comma two, and that's exactly, exactly what we saw. Okay, so if we wanted to solve this system, y is equal to 1 half x plus 1, and y is equal to 1 half x minus 2. Notice these two lines have the same slope, okay, same slope, but different y-intercepts. Okay, when This is going to be an interesting case when they have the same slope, different y-intercepts. So when we graph these lines, the first one is that y is equal to 1 half x plus 1, and then the blue line there is y is equal to 1 half x minus 2. You'll notice that they never intersect, okay? So because the distinct lines have equal slopes, the lines are parallel, and parallel lines do not intersect, so there is no ordered pair that satisfies both equations. So the solution set is the empty set, meaning there is no solution to this system of equations. So parallel lines produce no solutions. A linear system whose solution set is empty, so the parallel line case there, is what we call an inconsistent system. So inconsistent systems have no solutions, none. All right, let's do another one. Um, so let's solve this system. Y is equal to 2x plus 1, and then I got this other one that looks like 6x minus 3y is equal to minus 3. 
Well, let's rewrite uh, this equation two in the slope intercept form. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna divide everything by three first. I get left with two X minus Y is equal to minus one. I'm gonna subtract the two X over. And now notice everything has a negative sign. So I'm gonna multiply everything by negative one. And equation two, look, equation two, when I, when I write it in slope intercept form is equal to Y is equal to two X plus one which is literally the same thing as equation one, literally the same line. So the graphs here are the same line. So the solution set of the system is the set of infinite numbers of ordered pairs, okay? Because they're the same line, so they overlap each other at infinite points because the line y is equal to two x plus one and the same line, which is just six x minus three y is equal to minus three. So a linear system that has an infinite number of solutions is called a dependent system. And a dependent system occurs when the lines are actually the same line. Okay, they're just shown a different way, or one line is just represented a little bit differently. But when you reduce it, you'll see that they're the same lines. Okay, so just the types of systems. So one solution system, the lines intersect at one point. All right, the solution set of the system contains only one ordered pair. This one right here that corresponds to that point. An inconsistent solution is the lines are parallel, so the solution set of the system is an empty set. There is no solutions. And a dependent system is the lines are identical, so when you plot the lines, they're literally right on top of each other. So the solution set of a system here is a set of infinite number of solutions represented by all points on the same line. So one solution, no solutions, infinite, many solutions. All right, let's just last use a table of solutions to solve the following systems of two equations. Um, again, it's still easier to use your calculator, but uh, in case you wanted to solve this with a table, so we have y is equal to 2x minus 3, and y is equal to minus 3x plus 7. So some solutions of the two equations are shown. So what you would do is you'd set up your table. You, these would be your y equals. You'd pick your x values. And then when you plug zero into both equations, well, the first one is minus three, the second one is seven. When you plug one in, the first equation here is equal to negative one. The second equation is equal to four. Notice how when you plug two into this equation, you get two times two minus three is one. And over here you get minus three times two plus seven is also one. So what that means, since the ordered pair two comma one is a solution of both equations, all right, it's a solution to the systems of equations. All right, the lines have different slope. Okay, so there's only one intersection point. Thus, the ordered pair two comma one is the only solution to the system. All right, um, before I close out the video here, just uh, please make use of your calculator a lot. Um, it's, it really makes solving these problems pretty straightforward and easy.